course is called Introduction to Social Sciences. We teach the Big History Project. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a big history. It takes a wide angle lens approach, not only in terms of time, like 13.8 billion years, but also scope. We are incorporating science, chemistry, physics, astrophysics, biology, and looking at them to how a historian would look at them. But we also incorporate anthropology, archaeology, and other things like that as we kind of progress through the year. Why am I teaching it? Uh, I enjoy the open-endedness. I was kind of bored with geography and world history, and this is kind of a, a nice introduction to those subjects. And it's also, like I said, it incorporates the big, fun, weird things that I used to look at when I was a kid. But why should a student take it? Uh, for the diversity of information that a student can walk away from in the class and receive. I view Big History as a course that will expose students, especially ninth graders, uh, to content that they never knew even existed. You get exposure to high sciences and big ideas by learning about them in a historical way, meaning why and how it connects to your life, and you can find a toehold into courses like chem and physics that are always science and math dense. We have a lot of fun, it's interesting, it's a lot of independent work. You ask questions, we all together go and figure out this big, crazy timeline of history. There's a website called thebighistoryproject.com where you can take a look at the information and preview it. Uh, we have you register for it and most of the material is done in class. It's a class that builds your knowledge towards history as a person. It doesn't just teach you the basics. I learned how the past has affected us today, how industrial technology has affected the growth of civilizations and how we have become who we are. It changed my perspective a lot visualizing the entire timeline of humanity all set out within this website. It's just so giant, so huge and like impacting. And the reason why you should take big history is because you get to understand your universe in a way bigger size than you would usually know. You get to hear like other people's perspective of how they think it is and what scientists think and see how you like the universe in your way. Big history helps you um, think in more diverse ways, looking at things in different scales. But you do have fun as well. Lots of self is very interesting and allows for new ways to be creative and just really think about everything. So there's that. I hope to see you next year. Good luck.